During our time away from everyone else, pretty much all of us turned to the TV. I saw Tiger, now I understand. To watch this guy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Joe Exotic, and this is Sarge. And the greatest basketball player of all time. What side is it? Game time! <laughs> The Last Dance is a 10-part docu-series that follows Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls on the quest for six NBA championships in the 90s. Jordan with a fall away. Oh! But in episode nine, someone else stole the spotlight. It wasn't Dennis Rodman this time, it was this lady. <laughs> Kathy Martin Harrison, a diehard Pacers fan. You let the words fly. I, yeah, I did with a sailor's mouth. I tend to sometimes be that girl who drops an F-bomb. That we caught up with on Zoom. She was giving the Bulls bench a piece of her mind. Michael, he was so cool though. He, he would look, turn around, look at us, and just smile and just shake his head. Since ESPN didn't bleep her, everyone got to hear what she said uncensored all these years later. In life, I'm like, oh! I go, oh my goodness, and my husband looks at me and I look at him. Harrison tells us she sat down to watch the popular series along with six million others across the country last weekend and had no idea what was coming. I mean, no idea whatsoever. Then the season ticket holder got to thinking about an interaction she had with the film crew during the 1998 Eastern Conference Finals. He said, would you guys all, and we were all of us that sat together, would you sign this release? And we're like, sure. So we signed it. She may have forgotten, yeah, you know. but the internet never will. Users took what the Last Dance producers gave them and ran with it. <laughs> Dubbing Kathy, Karen Pacer. New gifs and memes featuring her game face now flood social media. Just in case you're wondering, Kathy still goes to every Pacers game, yeah. even though her unique form of heckling is no longer allowed. There's a whole new NBA code of conduct and you're not allowed to barely speak anymore. And this Hoosier doesn't regret her newfound fame. In fact, she's embracing it. She says giving people a laugh in the midst of sadness, isolation, and a pandemic is nothing to apologize about. I think for one moment they were able to go, oh, I can laugh and smile about this and look at that crazy woman. Kathy Martin Harrison may just be the ultimate good sport. I'm not gonna lie, I'd like to go to a basketball game with you. Chris Suter, WDRB News.